Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be swatching the Masaba Nika lipsticks for you. I've got gel nails, so unfortunately I can't do swatches of the nail polishes, but I'm going to show you all the lipsticks from this collection. Let's get started. So this is the beautiful PR package that I received. It has all of uh, Masaba's original prints and designs. And then this is what the package looks on the inside. You've got the 10 nail polishes here and the 10 lipsticks on the top and the packaging is so beautiful. This is definitely a collectible item, something you would want to keep because these are all of Masaba's signature prints and designs that she's created herself. Now, because I'm not swatching the nail polishes, um, I just want to give you a closer look at all the shades. There are lots of nudes. There are a couple of bright popping colors, but I think overall, if you're looking for a nice nudes or nice neutral colors, that flatter Indian complexion definitely check these out also part of the collection is this nail polish remover bottle when I used to wear regular nail polishes now I mostly wear gel I used to love these because removing polish was so easy you just dip twist and the polish would come off so if you are interested in trying that out uh, check this out because again this has got the masaba print on it this is the shade Femme Fatale. This bright pink is called Touch Me Not. This bright coral is called Can't Deal. This beautiful soft pink is called Face Balm. This is a lovely neutral. It's called Kaling Me Softly and it's like a mauve brown color. This orange red is called Wild For You. This bright pink is called You Crock My World. This is a really nice terracotta soft brown and it is called Nimbu Pani. This warm nude is called Roar. This nude pink is called Buzzkill. This is a neutral nude. It's got a bit of pink. It's got a bit of warm tones and this is called Cool Guy. And this last one here is called Pataka and personally I love this one. Now for those of you who've got deeper skin, I would recommend Nimbu Pani than Pataka and then also a Femme Fatale, the bright rich red. I think the shade Kaling Me Softly will also look really nice on medium to dark complexions. And if you're just looking for nudes, I think Cool Guy and Roar, both of these are beautiful colors. So the idea behind this collection was matching lips and tips. So for every nail color, there's a corresponding lip color in the same shade. So I'm going to get started with the lip swatches and I'm swatching these in the same order that I showed you the nail polishes. I'm also going to show you the outer packaging for each of these shades because it is unique for every shade. This is the shade Femme Fatale. First impressions of the formula it feels just really smooth and buttery to apply on the lips the color payoff is really good and it has a bit of a satiny finish these are not exactly matte lipsticks so even if you have slightly dry lips they will feel quite comfortable to wear so that is the shade femme fatale the next shade i have here is called touch me not and this comes in this vibrant pink and yellow packaging the next shade is called can't deal and this is a very orange toned red The next shade is called Face Palm and this is a bright pink. This is the shade Face Palm and this is a soft nude pink color. I'd anticipated this to be much brighter just going by the outer packaging, the print on the outer packaging but it's actually quite a nice, very soft everyday wear pink.
this is definitely one of my favorites from the collection it's a shade that's going to work across skin tones i think it, this would be particularly flattering for girls with medium to deeper skin This is the shade Wild for you and this is an orangey red. It's a really pretty color, I really like it. This shade is called You Crop My World and it's this soft slightly bright not too bright pink um, you know when you want something just to sort of liven up your complexion but not kind of take over the entire look uh, I think it's still a very nice and very wearable color I would recommend this for light and medium complexions This is the shade Nimbu Pani and this is such a beautiful deep neutral color. It's not exactly a nude on my complexion but I feel on a deeper skin it's going to look like a nice warm nude something that's not too flesh toned something very wearable I think this is one of the must-haves from the range This is the shade Roar and it's a pretty true nude on my medium complexion. So this is a shade I would recommend for women with lighter skin or medium skin if you're looking for a nice true nude color. This is the shade Buzzkill and this is a pink toned nude again I think this is a great color of girls with light and medium complexions This is the shade Cool Guy and I love this nude on my complexion. It's not too pale, it's not too brown, it's something that's going to work perfectly when you want just a really soft neutral lip. And this last shade is called Pataka and this is also one of my favorites from this range. It's a color that's going to work across skin tones, something quite rich but not too vampy. It and that is all for this swatch video. I hope you found it helpful. There are so many beautiful colors in this range. I also think the packaging is really beautiful because it has, uh, you know, Masaba's signature prints. It's quite unique. So I would definitely recommend this range. Aside from the packaging and the shades, I also really like the formula. It feels very comfortable to wear. It's got this nice satin finish that gives this natural plump look to the lips, which I personally really like. The Masaba collection is now available on Nika. I'm Going to put the link to buy these in the description box below and that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching let me know your favorite shades in the comment section below and i will see you soon in my next video bye